So you got a little barbecue going on underneath your car, that's not good. Your catalytic converter should not be glowing like this and it's caused by other components in your vehicle that are robbing you of fuel. It's nothing good about this, not even roasted marshmallows. When your car's not running right, you're gonna need quality auto parts to fix it. Make sure you get yours at 1AAuto.com. The catalytic converter is underneath the vehicle, like most vehicles, so we're gonna raise it up. Here is where your catalytic converter is located. It's gonna be after the exhaust manifold and before the rest of the exhaust pipes that go to the muffler normally closer to the engine. On some vehicles, it's actually so close to the engine, it's part of the exhaust manifold. A real quick description of what the catalytic converter does is when there's exhaust gases coming out of the engine, they go into the converter. The converter burns up any unburned fuel and lets it out through the rest of the exhaust into the atmosphere so that we don't pollute the atmosphere. Overall, converters are extremely reliable they last a long time, but there is some external factors that can cause the converters to deteriorate prematurely, such as excessive fuel getting in there, oil, coolant, or external damage. If your engine's not running efficiently, there's gonna be excessive fuel getting into the converter. It's gonna heat up the converter and cause it to plug up. Then your engine's gonna be running that much harder it's wasting gas. You're going to notice a lack of acceleration, a lack of horsepower. Let's start out with the most common reason why you have fuel in the exhaust, and that's spark plugs and coils. If you don't change the plugs regularly or the coils are causing a misfire, you're going to have a check engine light and it's flashing. And that's warning you that raw fuel is most likely dumping into the exhaust, and that's going to cause those converters to burn up. Another problem that's pretty common is the fuel injectors. If you have a fuel injector that's stuck open, it's dumping raw fuel into the cylinder, it's still going to cause a misfire, you're still going to get a flash, and that's going to be the issue. You, you can swap the injectors in to figure out which injector is the issue. Um, if it didn't end up being the coil or the plug, then it could be an injector. Another cause for excessive fuel in the exhaust system could be the O2 sensors. If they're not sending the correct signals to the computer, the computer is dumping more fuel into the engine. And anything to do with the intake system, the air filter, the mass airflow sensor, the throttle body, or the intake itself, if there's any leaks or anything's not working up to par, can cause excessive fuel and contaminate the catalytic converter. Moving on to why the engine may be burning oil, causing that to be an issue with the converter, is the PCV system. If the PCV system is not working properly, excessive oil is getting into the combustion chamber and that's going into the exhaust. So this is part of the PCV system right here and right here. That can either be plugged up or it can be not restricting enough causing oil to go in here and into the intake. Another way you can be burning oil is the valve seals. If they're not sealing properly, then oil's getting past the valves and into the combustion chamber going out the exhaust. So you may need valve seals. If you notice that you have an oil consumption problem, it can be any of these things, whether it's the PCV or the valve seals. You could also have a problem with the piston and the piston rings. Sometimes you get carbon buildup on the rings themselves and they're gonna cause them, the rings to get stuck in the grooves. So when those are stuck in the grooves, it's not sealing properly. You get oil past the piston and into the combustion chamber and then obviously into the exhaust system. Let's talk about coolant getting into the exhaust system and the most common cause for that is head gaskets. You have a gasket between the cylinder head and the engine block and you're gonna have coolant going through these ports here and it's very close to the combustion chamber, so if there's a crack in between there, you're gonna get coolant seeping into there and into the exhaust system. Along with head gasket issues, some vehicles actually have coolant passing through the intake gasket, and in those vehicles, when the intake gaskets are leaking, you'll have coolant going into the exhaust system. Either the head gaskets or intake gaskets are something you can get at 1AAuto.com. Or if you see any physical dents in the converter itself, if someone was 
driving along and they happened to go off road and hit a rock and it made a major dent in the converter itself. Maybe some little dings and stuff might not be a big deal or any types of leaks or where it's ripped open at all. Um, anything physical to the body is going to cause the internals not to do their job properly. Here's what the inside of a converter looks like. Let's cut it open a little more so we can see a little more detail. All right, let's slide that off. Most converters have a longer honeycomb. Um, there, there's actually two honeycombs in here. And if you look at it, you can actually see how it looks like a honeycomb. There's little little fins all throughout it and they go all the way through. You can, you can see the metals, all the metals in there and stuff. So the unburned fuel goes in here and it gets dispersed throughout and that's what's going to be able to burn up the rest of the unburned fuel. This one visually doesn't look that bad. Um, you can Obviously it's cut open now, but um, you can see where, you can still see the honeycomb. Now if you get one that's plugged up, you're going to notice uh, lots of spots where it's just a solid piece. You may even see some that are just rattling around. This piece is rattling. You could actually bang on it on the outside and hear it rattling. In that event, the converter is broken up inside and it's no good. Some of the reasons you're going to know whether you have a bad catalytic converter or not is a check engine light with a code P0420 or 430. And it's basically an inefficiency code of the catalytic converter. You have 102 sensor that's in front of the catalytic converter reading the exhaust gases and you'll have one at the back of the converter. And the computer determines the difference just seeing if the cat is being efficient and if it's not, that's when you get that code. Another way to determine if you have a plugged up converter is taking the O2 sensor out in the front of the converter and putting in a back pressure gauge, threading this in, starting the engine. If the engine at idle has a reading above one pound or one PSI, then the converter is going to be plugged up or if you rev the engine and it's above 1.5 at 2500 RPM, then there's definitely something going on in there. If your catalytic converters are plugged up, it's because you are wasting fuel and it's going to cause your engine to overwork itself. So if you need any of the converters or you need any of the engine parts under the hood, make sure you click the link in the description and head over to 1aauto.com. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. If you have excessive fuel getting, or should we say bad converter, is take the front, no, the back, no, the front, yeah. So you got a little barbecue under your car? That's not good, you're cl Oops, <laughs> it totally missed.